Hi, my name's Christopher, and welcome to today's Decorate TV show. What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name is Jeff and on today's episode we're going to be taking a closer look at leaf stains on concrete. How can they be avoided? Should you even worry about it? And a way of removing them so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So if you have a concrete driveway or a patio that's near trees, I mean, you've probably noticed some stains that were left behind from leaves. And the lighter your concrete is, the more you're gonna see them. Now, these stains can be really frustrating for homeowners who like to keep their concrete looking pristine. And fall is also a, a challenging time of year for concrete contractors. I mean, you know, it's nothing to do with removing leaf stains, but there are a few things that are more annoying than dealing with leaves all over a slab of concrete that you're trying to finish. Um, now, like I said, that's not really what this video is about, but all I can say is just make sure that you always have a leaf blower on the job this time of year. Because I mean, leaf stains, they can definitely be hard to get off. I mean, we've done plenty of stamped concrete jobs that were poured in September. And then by the time the concrete was cured out enough to seal, it already had a bunch of leaf stains all over it. I mean, I remember trying to scrub uh, these off with a variety of different things and none of them really seemed to work very well. Now, the good news is we already have a technique of the week video that'll show you how to make your own leaf removal formula that actually does work. And the great thing about this little recipe is that it's made up of household ingredients that you probably already have on hand. So if you do need to remove some leaf stains, please click on the link right down in the description to watch the full episode. Now, this solution also does work really good for um, removing mold and mildew as well as other kinds of organic stains. I mean, I just wish that we had this formula when I was still doing this stuff every day. But that's not really the point of this video either. I mean, you clicked on this because you wanted the truth and we're gonna give it to you right now. You can't handle the truth. So the first truth about leaf stains is that they are gonna happen to pretty much any slab of concrete if the leaves are left on there long enough. I mean, there is, if this is happening to you, there's nothing wrong with your concrete, there's nothing wrong with the sealer, and there's definitely nothing wrong with your trees. And I mean, you know, keeping your concrete sealed does help, but leaf stains can still happen on sealed concrete. Now, the other truth is that they are not permanent. I mean, if they were, every slab of concrete around trees would be all stained up all the time. In fact, after a couple of years, it would just look like a badass stain job. I mean, they do go away on their own and sunshine does seem to help them go away faster. I mean, so if you just noticed that leaf stain on your concrete for the first time, it's okay, you don't have to panic. Mother Nature put those things there for you and she will take them away as well. You just gotta give her a little bit of time. Now, it might even take until springtime depending on what the winter's like. Now, with all that being said, there are times when it is really important to remove those leaf stains. And the main one is when you're about to seal your concrete. I mean, fall is the most common time for homeowners to seal their driveways. And in that case, I mean, you don't wanna seal those stains in. Now, we already talked about stamped concrete in the fall, but I mean, it'd pretty much be the same for any uh, slab of concrete that you poured in September and now you're trying to get it sealed before winter. And I mean, other than needing to seal your concrete, I mean, the only reason I can think of that these stains have to be removed is just because you want your concrete looking spotless all the time. Now, if this is you, I definitely understand. I mean, I'm as OCD about this kind of stuff as anyone, but you still don't have to panic. Just use that leaf remover that you learned how to make on technique of the week. Um, although you might need to do it a few times throughout the fall. So how can you avoid leaf stains? I mean, really the only way I know of it is to keep the leaves off the concrete. Now, I know this can sound like a pretty simple thing, but that can require a lot of leaf blowing depending on how many trees you have around your slab. I mean, leaves just sitting on the concrete for an hour or two aren't gonna just immediately leave a stain. It's when they get wet that the staining starts. Now here in Ohio, during leaf season, I mean, we get a fairly heavy dew pretty much every night and just that moisture from the dew can cause the stains. So this is gonna have to be like a daily thing. So to sum it all up, leaf stains will happen if the slab has enough trees around it. They will go away on their own if you give them enough time and leaf stains can be removed if you mix the right ingredients together. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. I mean, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys in reducing and removing leaf stains on your concrete. 
Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I mean, I can't tell you how much it means to us that you always take the time to tune in. And we really, really do appreciate all that support uh, by always hitting the like. And if you're not already subscribed, that little button right there. Uh, please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you have any questions about cleaning or sealing concrete. Now, if you are already subscribed, uh, just don't forget about that little bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And it really does help our channel out. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.